have no cause to be afraid of being unemployed. If you believe, say, I believe. I will never remain unemployed. I will find a job to do. Even when I don't find it, I will create one for myself. Creating employment is so simple. So, so, so simple. I was sharing the team at the Fatigue School. For instance, if I came and asked everyone, give me five cities each. For no apparent reason, what would you think about me? You tell me, what about that? Even if you don't say it, because I have not offered you anything to deserve salary, right? But what if I, I came with a pack of the love, which I believe all of you love, and then it cost me five cities to produce one. But because I need five cities from you, I added that five cities to the cost price, making how much? Ten cities. So how many of you will buy your love from me today? Or how many of you would like to take your love as dinner? Can I see my hand? As many. So meaning, when you now buy the jollof, what do I get? Five. I get my five cents. Problems gives us opportunity to make money. And those who solve problems create jobs for themselves. Those who complain about the problem, they get poorer at their home. This morning, all of us ate, right? You bought it or you were provided here? Okay, let's assume you were never here but you were at home. Or let me use a friend's case study. A lady friend of mine resigned from the bank to start a business she calls Wache on Hill. Many of you love Wache, right? Great. So this lady tells everyone, if you need Wache to enjoy, just give me a call. We'll deliver the Wache at your doorstep. So instead of watching that you can get for three CDs, she sells it at 20, 20 CDs per pack. 20 CDs per pack. If she serves 50 people a day and, and sells at 20 CDs, how much is she making in a day? 50 packs times. That's 1,000 dollars CDs. If it costs her five students actually to produce one, and maybe five students to deliver it at your doorstep, how much profit is she making? Ten students per one. So ten students times fifty parts in a day. How much is that? Five hundred dollars a day. Do you know that is some of this monthly salary? Is this is this serving 50 people with 50 parts of watching in a day? Is that possible? Yes. The reason why many people are not getting anything to do is because their definition of employment is that somebody should somebody should do what? They want to write an application letter. For somebody to accept them in their office, for them to do something in the office, and then they can be paid monthly. If that lady works 20 days in a month, are you listening? Are you with me? Yeah. If she works 20 days in a month, making 500 dollars a day, in a month, how much is she paid? That's thousand, ten thousand dollars in this month. Do you know that is somebody's annual salary? Yeah. I was surprised to note that some master's degree holders are even taking four hundred dollars in this in Accra. Alright. So by the time we 
we are done, we'll be able to understand three major things. Even if you forget anything, I would like you to get those three things. The moment you understand it, you will never complain of unemployment anymore. But there is so much to do in Africa than the things to do in Europe. A lot of things are yet to be done in this country. A lot of problems are in existence in this country that whoever is able to mobilize resources to solve those problems gets rewarded financially and even sometimes in kind. In my case, I don't cook watching. In my case, I help people to find work to do. Whether they will create it or they will find it as a, as a job. Not just any job, but a job that they would love to do so that they can find effectiveness and fulfillment in whatever they do with their lives. My brother Isaac said, career coaching is a new ground. Yes. Personally, I never knew there was a profession called career coaching. When I was growing up, as in all day, when you were asked, what do you want to do when you grow up? What did he say? Some of you said, I want to become a pilot. Are you a pilot now? Some of you said, I want to become an astronaut. Are you an astronaut now? Apparently, you went to the hospital and you saw a guest in the green and white. That very moment, I want to be a nurse. The following day, you met somebody in a police uniform. Now you want to become a police. And then you keep changing and changing and changing. But there are three major factors that when you understand, making your career decision becomes so easy. I want to push my personal story a bit forward. During the registration for SSV, we were told to go home and tell our parents to help us choose a profession. One evening, my parents guided us and were trying to share professions accordingly. They told one of my cousins, that one of my, my, my younger sister, the one who followed me, she's a lady, they asked her to become a nurse. So that if the family has any health need, she will be the one in charge. They asked my other brother to go into mechanics so that if the family buys the car, you will be the person to service it. And then they told me to go into building, building technology, so that if the family wants to build a house, I will be the one in charge. I chose big schools, most of them in Cape Coast here. Unfortunately, I was not admitted. And then I went to the Volta region. Please, all council members, we are meeting uh, in the first classroom here. Please, all council members, thank you. Thank you. A round of applause for our So, SHS, they asked me to do visual arts. According to them, my grade is good for visual arts, not because I have talent for the arts. When I completed, I thought because I did visual arts at the SHS, I needed to go to the tertiary level and do arts again in order to get a certificate and come for a job. I applied to the company for the technique to read HND commercial arts, and unfortunately, I was not admitted. I came home and cried, and later on growing up, I realized it was a fortune but not a misfortune. I would have gone to do HND commercial arts because I did visual arts in the SHS, not because I wanted to do art work. Thereafter, I took some computer course and got some few jobs, and then I went to the tertiary to do my HND marketing. When I graduated, I came working with somebody, um, the regional manager of an institution in the central region here, as an assistant to him. Unfortunately, a few months later, he chose to go to heaven ahead of time. I didn't give him. 